Welcome to Fireside Gaming. My name's Willem, and I'm doing a little bit of a Let's Play right now. I'm testing out a new mic I picked up, a Blue Yeti Blackout. I've been using a headset all the way up to this point, so I figured now was the time to actually upgrade the channel and stuff. I wish I would have had this for my Wild Arms video. But I wanted to see how this would do with recording, get an idea of how it's going to sound. I've already played with some settings and stuff like that, but I figured I'd just do a quick playthrough of Aladdin for the Super Nintendo, and you all could join me on that. So let's jump right into that. Now I am quite familiar with this game. It was actually the first game I reviewed for the channel. Sorry if you can hear the clicking there. That's the controller. I don't know if it'll come through or not. That's not something I tested. And I'm missing this jump up. Never mind. There we go. But uh, yeah, this was the first game I posted a review for on my channel. It's not actually the first one I made a review for, that was Mega Man X. But I held off on the posting that review because I ended up redoing it. I didn't like the, uh, the original take of it. And since this is a game I know, by the way, I am just going to be gone. Like, I'm not going to grab all the secrets or do anything like that. I'm just, just playing. Just going right through it. Which is easy to do once you get this rag. You can basically you can skip through large portions of levels, but it's a bit ridiculous. And you hang on to it all game long. Just your goal. And you can collect um, those red crystals. I think if you collect all of them in a level, you get, I believe it's an additional heart. You know, that thing I just lost. But I can't remember. It's been a while. This is one of my comfort games that I kind of just go back to and play. Just because. It's not long. Um, so long as I don't suck too terribly bad while playing, this should only be about half an hour. But like I said, I haven't played through this in a while. I almost died there. And I'm jumping off edges. Ow. Okay, alright. But yeah, I haven't played through it in a little over a year. It's an excellent game. It's a uh, Capcom, if you saw in the opening. And I know, like, uh, licensed games, right? Like, they usually have like, but this one comes from a completely different era. This is a very well-polished good game. One of my personal favorites. Uh, lead designer on this game was uh, Shinji Mikami, who went on to do the Resident Evil games. That's something I mentioned in my review. I didn't know it until I was doing that stuff like that. It's also weird because there's a Sega Genesis Aladdin game, right? And you would think like it would just be a port of this Aladdin game, which is what happened with like, Lion King. For example. But it's not. It's a completely different game made by a completely different company. It's Virgin America or something like that. But uh, I've never played it. I've been meaning to pick up the collection that they did, the Disney collection for Switch. They recently re-released uh, re it, because originally it didn't include this version of the game, so I didn't, I didn't buy it. I was like, nah, I, I want this in the But, uh, they re-released re it, and now it has this version of Aladdin on it, so I've been thinking about picking that up. Here we're getting to the first boss. He is... In fact, if you just stand here, you can't really do anything. There we go. That's right. You wait for him to swing and interrupt that bounce. Apple to interrupt. I jump too early. He swings. Does that. Interrupt him again. 
There we go. I say the game's only about half an hour, but that's probably if you skip cutscenes, because I... Excuse me. I, uh... Basically always skip the cutscenes and stuff like that, because... I, I've played the game enough. Um, I suppose since we're doing a bit of a let's play, I can actually let these play through and everything like that. But normally, like like I said, this is a game I've gone through and I've played plenty of times before. So I just, uh, I just, I, I breeze through it. I just run right through the game. Which, you know, maybe with cutscenes it's closer to like 45 minutes or something like that. But yeah, I want to play the uh, I want to play the Genesis version eventually because I know it's a bit different. Though. I mean, it has a sword and you know, some stuff like that. Like, there's a few different things. I think I would have liked to have seen another Disney game collection that just included Capcom made games. Because like there's this Aladdin that they could put in there. Um, I think some of the Mickey games are made by Capcom. Castle, Castle of Illusion and stuff like that. I've never played those, so I don't actually know. But those would be sweet to get, to play, get a moderate release of. And... Oh, Goof Troop. Goof Troop is a really, really fun game. Um, Top-down kind of puzzly stuff. It's very Zelda feeling, which, you know, might seem a bit odd from Capcom, but then again, you have to remember, you know, Capcom also made... Dang, I missed that. I didn't miss that. Um, Capcom made three Zelda games. They made the... Oracle Games, Oracle of Ages, and Oracle of Seasons for Game Boy Color, which those are, yet again, some of the best Zelda games, like great handheld ones, and they made Minish Cap, which, in my opinion, might be the best handheld Zelda game. Just paying attention. Um, I know a lot of people likes like they like Link's Awakening, which don't get me wrong, Link's Awakening is a solid game. I enjoy it. I've only played it once. I played the DX version of what it has. It's not a game I grew up with. Oh yeah, here's something. Um you collect the two pieces of the scarab. And you get to do a little bonus thing here. You can get an extra heart. I think if you get genie you get like everything that's on the board. But the extra heart or the genie or like the really like the things you want. I the you know the well, the one up and two up are obvious extra lives. The stars, if I'm remembering right. Oh, sweet, we got a heart. Um, our continues. Okay, I guess it's not an extra heart. It was heal. Never mind. It's not near as good as I thought it was. But, uh, yeah, talking about the... Talking about Zelda games, handheld Zelda games. I think... I think Minish Cap is probably my personal favorite. Not that there's anything wrong with Link's Awakening. Once, I, I played... I played a lot of Oracle of Seasons as a kid. That was... I got it as a kid, uh, sixth grade or so. It was a trip right before we took... It was a gift right before my family took a huge cross-country trip to visit uh, family one Christmas. And I played Oracle of Ages the whole, the whole trip. I just, I, I played the crap out of it. It was constantly in my Game Boy. I would never want to do a trip like that again. I say that, but then again, I probably will end up doing so someday. 
It was... It was a... Long time, like, play all the time kind of thing. And I and the funny thing is, I didn't even beat it as a kid. I didn't go back and beat it seasons. Until... I'm trying to think. It wasn't college. So, you know, sixth grade to college. Give you some perspective there. But, uh... And then I... The wife has... Ages, and that was the one she knew, which kind of works perfectly. You know, she ha I have seasons, she has ages, we get married, we have both. And then with that, I played through Ages, which also a lot of fun, very different design style uh, compared to Seasons. And I was like, all right, cool. Now I could do the, uh, the Link story and play the extra stuff because I never got to do that as a kid either. Uh, we should be going into carpet level. Yeah, yeah this level sucks. There is uh, fire levels. I just nobody likes fire levels, right? Oh yeah. Excuse me, I took a drink there. And not only is it a fire level, it's an auto-scrolling fire level. So it's simultaneously frantic because everything around you is burning. But at the same time, it's incredibly dull because you can't you can't progress without a, a level letting you. I didn't. Know. Grab all the gems in a level, cause I don't remember an extra heart. I don't know. I could have used that. Oh, nope, this is the chest. I was waiting for the chest with the scarab. You gotta wait to actually get the scarab to get to this platform. Screw getting that red gem, that's not happening. Oh, I... Yeah, I, I forgot that one away. This is that thing, like, the platforms are so small, they make you do that whole thing where you're like... I'm on it, and then you overshoot, and then you're like, I'm not on it, and then you press back and you fall off. Ah, yeah, that level was frustrating. I almost died. And we get to do the genie game again, which I guess, like, I'm not gonna. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe the heart actually did give me a heart, and I just read it wrong. Which is what I thought it did, but I don't think we're getting the heart. We're, we're getting a one-up. Not ideal. Is what it is. This is definitely one of those games that uh, is really generous with extra lives and one-ups and stuff. So like, even if it's a kid playing, it, like, they never really have to worry about dying. It's not like a hard. Also, this is another level that sucks. Yet again, auto scrolling and like, there's going to be a part later on. It's just going to be so frustratingly close to not hitting stuff. I made that out like it was going to be a lot worse than it actually was. Genie, Jafar, Aladdin, Abu. We used to sing that as kids. That's how we remembered to go to this level, because next up is uh this genie level. And it's it's really bright and colorful and everything like that. And it, it was one that uh me and my one older sister liked to play a lot. So like we specifically remember Genie, Jafar, Aladdin, Abu, and we would sing it like that.
Hmm. Ah, sorry. I just bumped the mic with my uh, Ganis out of there. Yeah, now we're going to deviate a little bit. We get invited into the lamp, evidently. Which is fine. Try to change it up a little bit to add some levels as compared to the movie. We could use that help. Actually, that's probably just apples. Yeah. We've got 36 apples. Yeah, we're, we're good on apples. Like I said, this cape, cape, I call it a cape, it's because it makes me think of uh, Super Mario World, but uh, this rag, tarp, cloth, whatever it is, is super, super helpful playing through this game. This is another one of those levels that was like absolutely panic inducing to me as a kid. And still slightly is, because, like, jumping on those cards and stuff just feels like, shoot, I'm going to miss it. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, if you can't tell, the platforming in this game is really tight. It's really fun. The rug to cheat our way through. Well done. And another scarab for a genie level. Genie wheel, I guess I should say. Alright, let's see what we get this time. Let's actually try to get genie. stars which is a continue right yeah credit continue same thing credit like you're playing this on an arcade machine or something and putting quarters in say is that it sucks because if you die, you lose the rug. And then the game becomes, I, I wouldn't say harder, like, okay, it becomes harder, but I wouldn't say it becomes hard. It, it gets more difficult. Like, all of that is completely and even easily doable without the rug, but like, look at this, why would I, why would I not just rug everything and never have to worry? I, I say that, I'll mess up now and end up dying. There must be another genie level. Are there four genie levels? No, okay. For some reason... For some reason, I thought there was another level, and it had like a, a harder section where Magician Genie comes in and creates stuff and things like that. Maybe I'm crazy. 
I must be. Carpet is blown overboard in the desert. Oh yeah, this is another one of the we've got to add extra to the game. We're gonna go into a uh, um a pyramid, I think, an abandoned pyramid type place with like are there mummies? Is there actually? I don't think there's actually mummies. But yeah, this is another one of those like those areas only in the game. And from my understanding, there was supposed to be a, an additional extra area. You know how in the movie, Aladdin ends up in the ice area whenever uh, Jafar orders Genie to throw the tower? These things probably have an actual name besides tower, but I don't know it. Um, there was going to be an ice-themed look like that in the game. And it got cut. I don't remember if that was like a, a time restraint. That was a thing. Oh, I don't remember this one. There we go. But uh, yeah, it, it just got cut. They just didn't have time to put it in the game. A lot of these licensed games get like pushed out really fast and releases and stuff. And in this case, turkey, chicken, whatever. In this case, uh, the game wasn't pushed out for the movie's release release, it was for the VHS release one year later, which... That's a crazy thing to think about, like a movie coming out one year after it hit theaters, because you think about, like, you know, the current era, we have streaming and stuff like that, so it's like, oh, I watch a movie and I can potentially even watch it the day it hits theaters, and if I don't, you know, like, we're talking burning a bunch of DVDs and Blu-rays for the release as compared to, you know, making a bunch of VHS tapes, and that's so much faster. So, like, it might be six or seven months after a movie comes out, and you'll see it on DVD and Blu-ray, if not sooner. So, that's just one of those things that, like, I, w I was talking about with uh, my wife not too long ago, maybe a week or so ago, about, like, how crazy it is, how fast movies come out now as compared to what they did back in the day, back in the days when everything was VHS. Apples that I don't need. I thought I was going to hit that top snake and I didn't. Okay, we're good. That was almost bad. <laughs> Jeez. I thought I pressed jump. I just... Okay. Alright. Well, this is not a deathless run, that's for sure. I can't put that in the YouTube title, can I? Here, I don't think there's a huge audience out there that's probably looking for a deaf person of a live super damage boost. And now we're to the boss. It's a mummy. A pharaoh. Deadly guy he is. Immune to apples. But dies by feet. It's a boot. Still immune to apples. Now we're out of the filler arcs and we're ready to go back to the main story.
This is a really cool level, by the way. Like, it's not even anything fancy or fun or anything. Like, fun. I say fun. It, it's, it's still fun, but it's just... It's a magic carpet ride. It's exactly what it sounds like. And it's just, I don't know. It's a, a beautiful level, I'll say. Like, yeah, like, it does a good job of capturing that idea. You know, flying up above the cloud and the stars. Like, shooting stars in the back. You go below the clouds to find like, cities and stuff like that. I don't know. It's cool. And you get this nice little uh, chiptune version of a whole new world. I don't know. I just like it. It's a nice little break from, you know, doing all sorts of platforming and stuff like that. It's just casually sitting around and collecting gems. It's not bad. Congratulations, you beat that really hard level. Yeah, Gilbert Godfrey just passed away. He was in a lot of movies when I was a kid. Like, obviously he's Iago, and he has that distinct voice, and he was the Affleck Duck for a while. But you know what I always think of him as was the... Uh, I think he was the principal in the Problem Child movies back in the day. There were a couple of those, I think. I remember we had him on VHS. Uh, cool, like, you know, 80s, 90s experience recorded off TV and everything like that. Uh, I haven't seen those since I was a kid. I might have to look them up or... I don't know. I don't know if anybody has them on stream. I'm sure, like, I could probably find a game for a little bit. Oh, yeah, check this out. This is cool. Let's do this. And bounce off the swords. I always thought that was super cool. Care not for you, swords. We do not need the one up. Oh, I should mention, we're in the final level. Like, we're about at the half an hour mark, and we're in the final level. Carrying skulls around. Dude's fast. Yeah, can we... There we go. I know I said I wasn't getting, like, a bunch of the red gems or anything, but that was one of those, like, I really wanted to. Yeah, I love these lanterns. Drop them on them and it burns them and hurts them. Just a neat little thing. Didn't have to be there. And that's another partial level, or a level complete, a stage within a level. I guess, technically, is what it would be called. Alright, just give me something. We're, we're right at the end here. Okay, so Genie gives us an extra heart. 
heart heals, and Genie gives an extra heart. Like, man, it is really easy to get a lot of life. Like, I haven't even been trying this run. And... I'm already up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 of the 10 hearts you can get in this game. You get more enough chances to get an extra life. It's pretty ridiculous, honestly. Don't do it. No, we don't need that. I don't know if you can actually grab that and hang on without getting hurt. Not gonna find out either. And up we go. Okay, alright. Bounce. Jump. Change it. Back on it. Jump up top. Cook to chicken. Delicious. Don't touch the other one. Bounce for bread. Some more gems, and we are at the Jafar fight. Staff. Bounce on it. Bounce on him. Down lightning, which I think we just sit in the corner and we dodge. See, it's the birds. The birds are what's dangerous. Staff again. We bounce, we bounce. I know you're probably supposed to bounce off the birds, or the potted- I don't know, what are they? Potted chickens? Potted birds? I don't actually know. You're probably supposed to bounce off of them to get an extra hit. Like, I bet you that's what a speed I am not a speed runner. I could try to be. But I like playing a really wide variety of games. And like, when, when you speed run, at least the ones I watch. I like watching speedruns. But, like, you always watch them. They've got so many hours to singular games. It's like, ugh. I want to spend my time playing a wider variety. Not a dig on this one. It's ridiculous the kind of things they accomplish. Stuff. Last bounce? Yep, that's last bounce. Of course. We're not actually done yet, I guess. Okay, technically, that wasn't the final stage, level, whatever. We're heading into the final. And has the courtesy to tell us so and heal us completely. So I think that's a complete heal. It might only be five hearts, but... Okay, and now we're gonna fight Snake Jafar. I always thought this was such a cool boss as a kid, like how he's all set up here with his snake head that moves around and stuff. And you're on his body, and we're gonna, yep, he's gonna throw out his snake eggs, which I always found weird. And yes, the game does suffer slow down. I assume it's like the big Jafar sprite and the fire and stuff, but once these eggs come on screen, the game starts slowing down. Get the tail lift. The other tail lift, and we bounce on the head again. Get hit by fire. Bounce. Bounce. Bounce again. Bounce again. Bounce again. Again. And he's dead. Now, I don't think... Yep, the fire doesn't hurt us anymore. We are invincible. That's Aladdin. We've beat the game. About 35 minutes with cutscenes. It's... It's a short game, but it's a lot of fun. I do have to point out, it's a little longer, obviously, if it is your first time playing. Because, you know, you don't know all the insides and outlines and stuff like that. 
Also, um, if you're playing for the first time and you don't get the rug, it can take a lot longer. And the rug shows up throughout like multiple levels. So if you die, you can get it back and stuff. But it makes going through the game so much easier and so much faster. Like it's it's so worth like doing your best to hang on to. But yeah, this is a this is a really fun game. I definitely recommend Go Play. I do have I mentioned already I have a review of this up. First one I posted to the channel, and I know like oh it's his first review, you know. Blah, 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 blah. I am perfectly proud of all of my videos, even the older ones, because I put a lot of effort into them. Back whenever I was starting up, I basically spent the pandemic just making a lot of assets and recording a lot of gameplay footage and writing up reviews and stuff like that. And that allowed me to spend like the first four or five months that my channel was up. I just got to like post videos while playing games and stuff and collecting more footage. And that helped me get through the first year because I was posting one review every single week and I quickly found out that without all of that preparation and having all the gameplay stuff there that there is no way I was going to be able to do that. I couldn't keep up with it which is why I've switched to the current schedule which is I try to put a video up every two weeks and I've been holding to that. Let's uh sit in a moment of silence and let this ending Okay, there we go. It would have been cool. Just random note here. If they would have let you control the uh, carpet ride during the end credits scene. That would have been a nice little touch. Uh, completely unnecessary. Like having the carpet ride playing in the background, anyways, while the game is going through the credits, it's already a cool enough thing. Plus, it gives it like that cinematic feel, you know, style. And now we're going like slowly down the road. As compared to me, who would be zooming everywhere, but. Either way, um, thank you for stopping by, watching this Let's Play. Uh, this is something I might do more of. I've done a Let's Play in the past. I played a, a demo for a Kickstarter game called Gigasword that was really, a really cool, like, Metroidvania puzzle game. And then, obviously, I've done this. And those are the only two Let's Plays I've done. Um, I'm definitely open to doing more of them. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't want them to take over the channel. You know, I want to I want to keep like, you know, reviews and stuff going up and everything and stuff like that. So I don't I don't want Let's Plays to like take over the channel. But I'm definitely open to doing them, especially if I could slot them in. And, like, the ones between like the weeks between reviews or, or other videos, you know, uh, the only thing about that is um, like I played Aladdin because, you know, 40 minutes. I don't mind dropping this on the channel all in one. I'm going to be playing a game for hours, then 
I'm I'm probably gonna break it up. And then there would be like, you know, it might be like every other week a video like that would go up. And I don't know if that would be too long for people that long or would I end up having so many videos sitting around waiting to post them? I don't know. Like I said, I don't want to flood the channel. But this is something that I will, uh, I'll do again. I'll have to find the right game. Um, I could do, I could do Mega Man X, break it up into you know, like maybe half hour videos or something like that. That should only take like three or four, three or four videos, I think. Mega Man X is an awfully long and I, that's another one that I know really well. But uh, let, let me know what you think about that. Let me know if you want to see more or anything like that. And as always, thank you for watching and take it easy.